Welcome again to my channel The Backyard. Our channel is discussing some animals, plants and others that we can raise found in our backyard. In this video we are going to discuss about crayfish. The 8 types of crayfish you want to know about. Crayfish can be found all throughout the world. These crayfish fall into 3 families, Astacidae, Cambaridae, and Parastacidae. Below are 8 types of crayfish. Some are well known for their beautiful colors while others are known for their disease and the destruction they can bring to the ecosystem. Let's start! Here are the 8 types of crayfish. Number 1. Blue Crayfish Indigenous to Florida, the blue crayfish Procambarus aleni can be found in the street, John's River and on down into the Keys. Blue crayfish are the rarest of all crayfish and are highly sought after by many aquarists because of their stunning blue color. Their electrifying blue color is the result of a genetic defect. Like most crayfish, the blue crayfish is very territorial and aggressive. The blue crayfish, like all others, is an omnivore and a scavenger. In the wild, they eat live and dead fish, worms, larvae, and decaying plant matter. When kept in captivity, blue crayfish can be fed sinking algae pellets, brine shrimp, bloodworms, and vegetables like zucchini and cucumber. These crayfish aren't picky eaters. Blue crayfish grow to be about 4 to 6 inches long and they have varying lifespans. Depending on the quality of care, they will live between 3 to 6 years roughly. Number 2. White crayfish. The white crayfish or white specter Procambarus clarki is simply a variation of the blue crayfish. These guys are very much related. However, the white crayfish is, well, white. White crayfish are also native to Florida and have the same temperament, eating habits, and other characteristics of blue crayfish for the most part. They eat the same things as blue crayfish and are definitely beautiful creatures. Number 3. Mexican Dwarf Crayfish The Mexican Dwarf Crayfish is a tiny little thing. It only grows to be about 1.5 to 2 inches. The Mexican Dwarf Crayfish is, of course, from Mexico, Lake Pascuaro to be specific. Now, these guys are crayfish, of course. However, their temperament varies a bit from other crayfish. Although territorial at times, many aquarists find that these crayfish aren't as aggressive as others. Mexican Dwarf Crayfish can live in community tanks with other freshwater fish. I keep mine in a 20-gallon planted tank with a German Blue Ram and some Corridorius. And, he has yet to destroy my plants or kill a fish. Let's see what happens though. For the most part, he just stays hidden behind a rock in my tank or hangs out in the plants only to surface during feeding time. He's definitely different than the blue and white crayfish I've kept in the past. He's much friendlier it seems. This little crayfish is an omnivore like all of the others. For food? He will eat what the rest of them eat, sinking algae pellets, brine shrimp, bloodworms, and veggies. He'll also eat dead and decaying plant matter in a fish tank. He's great for cleanup. Mexican dwarf crayfish don't live as long as other crayfish like blue and white crayfish. These crayfish usually only live for 2 to 3 years. Number 4. Blue Dwarf Crayfish Dwarf blue crayfish are a selectively bred variation of another crayfish that is indigenous to the southeastern parts of the United States. In nature, you'll usually find that this crayfish is an earthy gray or brown color. These types of crayfish, like Mexican dwarf crayfish, tend to be less aggressive and can be kept in community fish tanks. These crayfish grow to be about the same size as a Mexican dwarf crayfish 1.5 to 2 inches. They also have a short lifespan of 1.5 to 3 years. If you plan on keeping one of these sprays, don't mistake it for the bigger electric blow crayfish. Their temperaments are distinctively different. While dwarf blue crayfish are known to be peaceful and great for community tanks, electric blue crayfish are way more aggressive. And, although electric blue crayfish can be kept with select fish, they can't be kept in just any community tank. Number 5. Cherax Destructor The Cherax Destructor, the common yabi, is a pretty but intimidating looking crayfish. Look at the size of those claws. He must lift weights. These types of crayfish are native to Victoria, New South Wales, and Southern Queensland, in Australia and are found in muddy waters. They are extremely aggressive and territorial omnivores. They are also an invasive species. Other than being destructive, the Cherax destructor is known for hibernating and digging itself under the mud. In the wild, the Cherax destructor eats snails, tadpoles, live and dead fish, and plant matter. In captivity, the yabi can be fed sinking algae pellets, frozen brine shrimp, frozen bloodworms, and a variety of vegetables. 
As crayfish, they aren't exactly the pickiest eaters. The Cherox destructor grows to be pretty big at roughly 6 to 8 inches in length. These crayfish live for 6 to 8 years, which is a fairly long time. Tip, this is one that you definitely do not want to keep in a tank with plants. They will flat out destroy them. This is actually a risk you take with most any other crayfish in a planted tank. Number 6. Red Swamp Crayfish When you think of a crayfish, you probably think of the Red Swamp Crayfish Procumbrous Clarky. Red Swamp Crayfish can be found in the colors red, orange, and reddish brown. The Red Swamp Crayfish is from Louisiana. They are extremely aggressive. They're also considered an invasive species and can wreak havoc on an ecosystem. This is because they eat virtually everything they can get to in the wild. In the wild, red swamp crayfish feed on snails, larvae, tadpoles, live and dead fish, and plant matter. In captivity, these crayfish enjoy the same diets as other crayfish, sinking algae pellets, frozen brine shrimp, bloodworms, and anything they can get to. Red swamp crayfish are known for carrying parasites and crayfish fungus plague. These are the types of crayfish you don't want to just pick up and throw into the home aquarium. Red crayfish grow to be between roughly 2 to 5 inches in length. They live for 2 to 5 years. Number 7. Tangerine Crayfish The gorgeous tangerine crayfish Procumbrous Clarky. I have kept one of these types of crayfish over the years. They have a beautiful bright orange color. But, don't let their beauty fool you. These guys are crayfish and are still pretty aggressive and territorial. I've seen one take out a pea puffer fish. Tangerine crayfish are from the southeastern parts of the United States. Like all of the other crayfish, these guys are omnivores. If you get a tangerine crayfish as a pet, he'll be happy eating sinking algae pellets, frozen brine shrimp, frozen bloodworms, and frozen vegetables. The tangerine crayfish grows to be about 2 inches in length and lives for about 2 to 3 years. Don't mistake this phrase for the Mexican dwarf crayfish. They're not exactly community tank crayfish. Number 8. The Million Bat Crayfish The last crayfish on the list is known as the Million Bat Crayfish. It is a crayfish that was bred in Thailand by Nakon Pat Home. The crayfish's name is Chao Kun Chang. And, this Million Bat Crayfish is an ornamental Procumbrous Clarky Ghost Crayfish. It is a type of crayfish that was developed by Sikanak from Siriwat, a man who spent the time creating his own signature crayfish. The buyer, Prat Han Lian Panek, became obsessed with the crayfish after seeing its color. Pat Home initially turned down two of Prat Han's previous offers before letting this rare crayfish go for 1 million baht. That's the 8 type of crayfish. Hope you enjoy and get ideas and information regarding this kind of video. If you are new in this channel please subscribe my channel The Backyard and don't forget to like and share this video also please hit the notification bell so that every time I upload new video you will be the first to watch it. Have a nice day. God bless us all. Thank you.